What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and today we gotta talk about the PlayStation, because Sony just randomly backed out of PAX East last minute. Yes, that's right, the massive conference that was gonna be happening in literally a matter of days, Sony just said, we're not going. I wanna talk about why, and why this is a really big freaking deal. Let's start off by taking a look at this. So, this is the official PlayStation blog, this is where they actually actually look at stuff and say, hey, here's what we're doing, here's what's coming next. It's their way of trying to hype up the fans, and it's also their way of speaking directly to us. Typically, if Sony is trying to do something that's big and important and usually has a lot of finer details, this is where they list it. And as you can see, this is their clear post all about PlayStation at PAX East. Look at what they're already saying here. Play The Last of Us Part 2, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and more. Now, I actually want to start off here by scrolling down to the end. This is their show hours. This is all of the games they had originally planned to show off. Now, if we zoom in here a little bit, a lot of these have already been released. Obviously, things like Zombie Army, uh, Zombie Army 4. I mean, this stuff is not exactly like groundbreaking or new. But it's definitely stuff of them trying to get you excited for all the things that they're going to have on display. Now, just honestly, I was planning on going just for this. I actually was just about to purchase purchase some last minute tickets to go up to PAX East just because I personally wanted to play The Last of Us Part 2. This game looks like it is going to be a total freaking new experience that I really wanted to try out and I thought it'd make a good video. The fact that they actually shut down and have completely backed out is bonkers, but let's read their exact reasoning. So this is all their stuff talking about, like, the details, where their booth would have been, and then we have this little update up at the top. Update. Today, Sony Interactive Entertainment made the decision to cancel its participation at PAX East in Boston this year due to increasing concerns related to the coronavirus. We felt that this was the safest option as the situation is changing daily. We are disappointed to cancel our participation in this event, but the health and safety of our global, workface, global workforce is our highest concern. Let's break that down because what's interesting about this is it seems like universally pretty much everybody on the internet is incredibly confused by this statement. A lot of people are saying, well, they're in Japan. I mean, keep in mind, Sony is predominantly a Japanese company. A lot of their biggest games, a lot of their biggest tech is all based, designed, and built in Japan itself. So why would they be affected with some sort of outbreak that, well, is mostly centered currently over in China. I think that this comes down to travel concerns. They're probably going to be going through a lot of airports and stuff that could have lots and lots of Chinese citizens, and some, some of these airports are even having, like, quarantine issues. I think that part of this does come down to the fact that Sony, they have a lot of very talented people, and they can't afford having anybody get sick. They're coming down to the wire on the PlayStation 5. I mean, at this point, it seems pretty clear that they're probably putting the finishing touches on whatever the heck the PS5 turns out to look like, whether it's a giant toaster or something sleek and nice. They really can't afford to have, like, a bunch of the development team getting sick or especially not being put in quarantine. But I feel like, more than that, this kind of says that Sony is very, very much just not caring about trade shows. This is a sentiment... It seems like something that's actually making a lot of people downright angry. This news just broke a couple minutes ago, and the initial reaction on the internet is mostly this, like, visceral rage. A lot of people are saying, Sony just doesn't want to talk. Sony isn't ready. Sony can't pull anything off. I've even been seen people making, like, some early memes being like, Sony is the master of saying that they're going to do something and then not following through on it. 
This is bonkers, and I'm kind of curious to see what happens next. PlayStation backing out of stuff sometimes has a very bad ripple effect. Once people know that the biggest current console is not going, sometimes indie devs decide to back out, or a lot of times other game studios. What happens if Nintendo backs out? I guess soon we're going to know. I just wanted to do a quick updated video about this because I am just, I'm genuinely in utter shock. I was so freaking close to being on a freaking plane to go to this, and I'm very glad I didn't, or else I would have been there just kind of chilling in Boston, uh, not playing a lot of Last of Us Part 2. But what do you think? Does this at all sort of upset you or make you curious as to what's coming next? I, I'm still... I'm trying to digest this. I just wanted to try and record my initial reaction because this is such a stunner. Um, I'm getting ready for that Nintendo Direct tomorrow and a big top 10 that's secretly all about the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Uh, I also just want to throw this out here at the end. I hope everybody at Sony is good health-wise, life-wise, this, this is definitely not something, they wasted like a million dollars not going to PAX. They probably already rented out all that floor space. This is not a joke to them. I really hope that everybody is, is definitely okay. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.